Hey guys, Nurse Mike here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Now, before we get today's lecture started, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right, guys, let's begin. Today, we're wrapping up hyponatremia. Hypo meaning low, natrium meaning sodium, and emia meaning in the blood. So, sodium less than 135 microequivalents in the blood. Now, main causes that drain sodium from the body and into the body, we use the four Ds. So, drains like NG tube, diuretics, diarrhea, as well as diaphoresis, profuse sweating. Simply, all fluids that leave your body have some type of electrolytes. Because where fluids flow, electrolytes go. But the other causes of low sodium, we use the acronym SIADH. So, the S is actually SIADH. Syndrome of ineffective antidiuretic hormone. So if you guys remember, ADH means add DH2O for our acronym. Now, Spanish for yes is C. So yes, add the H2O. SIADH retains water, dilutes sodium in the blood, and so we have this low liquidy lab values called hemodilution. I stands for intoxication of water. So hemodilution again, leading to low sodium, those low liquidy lab values. A stands for adrenal insufficiencies, like adrenal crisis with our Addison's disease patients. Basically, wastes sodium from the body and puts it in the potty. D is for our diuretics, like thiazides and loop diuretics, generic names for hydrochlorothiazide and furosemide. Both of these are considered potassium-wasting as well as sodium-wasting diuretics. Oh wait, what? This? Oh, come on, man! This is all I can afford after my tuition. I mean, I, I could be hyponatremic, you never know. Alright guys, that wraps up our lesson here. We'll see you in the next video.